Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how image color is altered in softwares like Photoshop or uh, any image manipulation tools that you use. So I'm just going to show you uh, this simple script and uh, yeah, before uh, doing anything, I will just show you the demo. So I'm just pasting the code and uh, I already have this image here. So blue.jpg you can see the image so this is the image uh, I'm just going to run this script so as you can see there are quite few windows here so this is the original image and we have a HSV slider here so if you alter this you can find a different color of uh, the same image so as you move this slider you can see you are getting nice different colors so you can uh, change this to get uh, multiple colors of this same image okay so how we are doing this so let me explain so I'm just going to quit this one and let me start from scratch okay so first we need import cv2 we need uh, open cv and we need numpy and then we are going to read an image so i am going to uh, use this particular image you can use any image with uh, like a same texture so i'll leave the link uh, to this gist and you can find this exact image link in this gist If you want to follow along, you can just download this image. I'm just going to read this image. So let's read the image img cv2 dot im read. So blue dot jpg. This is what I'm going to use cv2 dot im show. I'm going to just display this image just quickly. So without a uh, wait key the im show function will not work so i'm just adding a wait key function as you can see this is just the image itself so nothing fancy here i just have to put this okay So next we are going to convert this image into uh, HSV color space. So basically we have multiple uh, ways of representing an image. Uh, the HSV color space is uh, somewhat um, unlike BG or RGB or grayscale. It is somewhat a unique way to represent images. As you can see this is HSV color space cylinder where the color is represented by the hue that is the actual different colors and saturation and intensity value so as the color gets more and more intense it will become uh, black and as the color becomes less and less intense it will become white that's all so hsv color space is represented by this uh, this cone conical shape here and this is uh, this is one of a way to represent colors in in computer uh, vision applications okay so i am just uh, converting the image into it hsv color space color bgr to hsv this will convert the image to uh, from uh, from the bgr color space into hsv color space so if you want you can uh, display the hsv color space but uh, it will not uh, uh, look as the input image because uh, the cv2 im show function uh, expects a bgr image so if you convert the hsv if you convert the bgr image to hsv and try to display it using im show you will not get a uh, a good result so i will just uh, show you uh, 
how it will be displayed. As you can see, the HSV color space, uh, it is not actual HSV image, like uh, don't confuse it. Uh, like HSV is converting the image into this. It is actually an artifact uh, of uh, the function. Uh, I am show expecting uh, image in BGR format. So this is in BGR format and this is in HSV. Uh, the data is in HSV format, but it is displayed uh, in a function that expects BGR image. So I hope my I made myself clear. So yeah, uh, actually don't don't do this. It will not uh, give you any result. And we are just separating three. Uh, color channels so H yes and V so as you can see we are just getting all values in the first channel that is 0 the second channel that is 1 and the third channel which is 2 so yeah these will be containing in individual hue saturation and intensity value of each pixels so this this is the shorthand for all pixels all uh, the range of all values so this colon uh, if you if you know uh, numpy uh, indexing this is how you index the entire uh, matrix in a particular index okay so this is uh, extracting individual 2d matrix from a 3d array so we are creating a new image hsv new that is we can just uh, initialize as num by zeros and we are creating we are going to use uh, some callback function so i'm just creating a nothing function here so it will take an input and it won't do anything here so i'll explain why we need this function and we need a window to display our uh, sliders create trackball saturation and intensity value okay so yeah then we are going to so here we have just 179 here over here so this is basically because of the this uh, the hue saturation intensity value is represented uh, from 0 to 179 that is total 180 values that's all so that's why we are going with uh, 179 here so then we are going to create a main loop that is while one we are going to get the uh, track bar position that is hue is going to be track bar position okay saturation and intensity value so github copilot is doing a good job here and i am going to edit this one with uh, h divided by 180 into q So this is basically doing, uh, we are going to create a new HSV image with uh, the existing uh, matrix. This is the H uh, existing matrix and we are generating a new image with the uh, modified value. So this will create, uh, this will create an image with 
uh, the modified uh, based on the trackbar position it will generate a new uh, image in hsv format so github copilot is working for me since i have already created a similar program it is just uh, suggesting from there so the new image has to be converted from hsv color space to bgr color space in order to be displayed correctly in the cv2 im show function so that's why i am converting here the hsv new into uh, a color hsv to bgr using this uh, color conversion method i am converting the image and we are going to display the image here okay then yep that's all i think the weight key has to be changed from zero to one and yeah let's run this so as you can see initially the image will be completely dark because the intensity value is at zero as you increase the intensity the image will be will become brighter and if you increase the saturation you will get the corresponding hue uh, value like if i change the hue you will change uh, it will change the color as you can see it is changing from red all the way to blue and yep this is how you uh, will create uh, this is how color conversion works in uh, most of the functions like most of the web applications uh, like instagram where it generates a black and white image or a color corrected image this is what actually happens in the background so yeah i hope someone finds this one helpful so yep if you find it helpful please subscribe to the channel and uh, suggest uh, suggest me a new video idea so that's all thank you